Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how I created the LUT I use in this video in DaVinci Resolve and how you can create your own. If you don't know what a LUT is, it's an acronym for lookup table. Uh, it's essentially just a filter that you can use on your video, sort of like the filters you would use on Lightroom or Instagram to kind of give a special look or color grade to your photos. But with a LUT, you can actually use it on videos as well. Uh, and DaVinci Resolve makes it really easy to create your own. So let's go inside of DaVinci and I will show you the step-by-step -step process of how you can make that happen. So here's the project where I will be creating the LUT. Um, I've already gone through and picked out the music. I've taken all the clips that I'm gonna use and edited them into the project and added the sound effects that I'm gonna use. And so now I'm ready to start the color correction part of this process. So I'm gonna hit Shift-6, take myself to the color editing page. Um, I've already gone through and color corrected all of these, but this is where you would do all the color correction for each of your clips making sure that they all are white balanced and that the lighting looks good and just make sure that all the clips in the project look like they belong together. Um, like for me, I had a lot of different shots where I utilized natural light, artificial light, and you're just gonna wanna make sure that all the clips look like they belong together before you do any kind of color grading or before adding any kind of LUT to your project. So once you're happy with your color correction, it's time to create the LUT and we're gonna do this by color grading our footage. And the way that I like to do that, I like to keep my color correction and my color grade separate by doing all my color grading inside the timeline option for the nodes. So now any node, any color grade, color correction that you add at this point um, will apply to all of the clips on your timeline. And that's really important when you're talking about creating a LUT or color grading in general, because you wanna make sure that the color grade looks good across the entire project and not just on one specific clip. So I've already created my color grade, which I'll use for the LUT. Um, so I'll select all of these and hit Control D and that will activate or deactivate all the nodes that you have selected. So you can see the color grade on and off. Um, I like to scroll through and look at a few different clips here and see how the color grade looks. I've already gone through and tweaked them all um, to make sure that they look good on each clip in the timeline. Um, but this is a process that will probably take you a little bit of time, but it's very important to go through and make sure that this LUT is going to look good on several different types of clips. Once you're happy with your color grade, now it's time to turn it into a LUT. So we will be converting this color grade into the LUT in the same page that we did our color correction and our color grading in. Uh, one last step before we convert it is to actually deactivate our color correction. And so we can highlight all the nodes that are color corrections, hit Control D and get rid of those nodes from our LUT. And the reason we do this is because every project that we work on starts with color correction before we ever do any kind of color grading or adding a LUT to our project. And so you don't want the color correction from this specific project baked into this LUT. You only want the color grade. And so you can highlight all the nodes in the color grade and turn them on and off and just see that it is still working even though it doesn't look exactly right the color grade is still being added to this footage. Now we've just taken away the color correction. So to create the LUT, we're going to open up our clips. This is gonna show you a thumbnail of each clip in your project. Make sure that the one highlighted is the clip that you're on. Uh, make sure that your color correction is turned off, just the color grade is activated. And we're going to right click on that thumbnail and we're going to generate a 3D LUT. So this is gonna open up 
the location that it's gonna store the LUT. I've created a subfolder inside of mine just so I can keep all the LUTs that I've created separate. I'm gonna name this one Espresso and hit save. So now the LUT is saved into my DaVinci Resolve projects. So now if we go to my LUTs and refresh the page, we can scroll down and here is Espresso with a bunch of numbers after it. If you want to rename that and get rid of all the added numbers, you can open up the file location and then we can just go in, delete all of the numbers they added to it. Now it's just called Espresso. And now if I refresh the page again, there's my LUT called Espresso. So now let's take a look at how the LUT works inside of the project. So now we can take all of our color grades that we created and deactivate those, go back to our color correction and turn all of those on. And then if we add a node, add a corrector node, we can put on our espresso LUT. And now all of the color grading that we did is all inside this one LUT. So let's go back to this shot, add a corrector node and add espresso, and there we go. So now our LUT can be used on any future project that we want to use it on. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can download the espresso LUT that I created for free. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.